हेलो बच्चो हाउ आर यू ऑल ओके सो चैप्टर नंबर टू एन सी आर टी क्लास एट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स फ्रेंड एंड फोय राइट बच्चो सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच आर वेरी वेरी स्मॉल यू नो दैट राइट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट देर साइज एंड ऑल थिंग्स so they are our friends but some are our enemies okay so let we will discuss about the microorganisms what are micro organisms what are microbes so microbes or microorganisms are tiny organisms which are so small that we cannot see them with an unaided eyes with an unaided eyes right bachcho with an unaided eyes <clears throat> so some objects right some living things like plants animals animals like cow huh like tree we can see with uh, with our unaided eyes but some organisms we need some support like a like a magnifying glass like a microscope like a electron microscope compound microscope so such of the instrument we required to see such type of microorganisms okay so microorganism that we cannot see with our unaided eyes okay and microorganisms are very 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 small okay so <coughs> uh, example example that uh, you know bread okay when our even uh, we, when we purchased the bread when we purchased the bread from a market and we it's a uh, out of date or it's a uh, uh, out of date or out of uh, you know that is uh, some problem or maybe it's maybe 2 3 4 days after you you will observe that in this bread there is a uh, some greenish parts then there is you can say that it's a uh, you know it's a uh, some uh, spore some spores you can find tiny spores okay so bread will be spoiled by this spore it's nothing but friends this is these are a uh, fungus these are the fungus okay so here you can say you might observe you might observe that during rainy season also you can find such problem in breads it will be spoiled and surface area get covered by a grayish white patches grayish white patches right bachcho and because of this fungus so it's a nothing but it's a microorganisms okay there is a colony of fungi colony of the fungi some microorganisms living live in a unicellular in an independent way but some are create their colony right like amoeba amoeba live unicellular and it's a it's a there is no colony it's living independently but some fungi okay some algae okay they are create their own colony so bachcho this is a activity 2.1 that uh, what you have to do here you take uh, some water take some small uh, soil from the field and mix up well very when after mix up well settle try it and then after settle you take uh, some drops of this wa uh, water and check over the under the microscope you will find there are some there are some bacteria same there are microorganisms under microscope only okay so secondly there is another example that take a few drops of the water from the pond and under mic under microscope okay you can find that there is also some living organisms small microorganisms right bachcho okay so 
बच्चो हियर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम क्लासीफाइड मेनली इन फोर मेजर ग्रुप्स फोर मेजर ग्रुप्स ओके वन इज बैक्टेरिया फंगाई प्रोटोजोआ एंड आलगे फोर मेजर ग्रुप्स यू नो दैट बैक्टेरिया सम एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक कोकश राइट बेसिलियस फंगाई यू नो ये ब्रेड मॉल वी जस्ट डिस्कस्ड ब्रेड मॉल पेनेसिलियम आर कॉल्ड फंगाई ओके एंड प्रोटोजोआ प्रोटोजोआ मीन्स अमीबा पैरामीशियम राइट प्लाज्मोडियम दे आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्रोटोजोआ एंड एलगे एलगे स्पाइरोगैरा राइट स्पाइरोगैरा एंड क्लोमाइडोमोनाश आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एलगे ओके सो दिस आर द मेन फोर ग्रुप्स माइक फॉर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स बट वायरस यू नो वायरस this is the hot issue or hot subject that we are discussing in a last 3 4 5 months yes corona right so corona is also virus so virus are very small very small see bacteria fungi protozoa algae compared to all fours virus are very small very very maybe they are 10 times 100 times smaller than the bacteria actually bacteria these are single cell organisms which are rigid cell wall and they can only be seen under a microscope which enlarge by a 100 to 1000 times then we can say bacteria okay but the virus are very very small sometimes we need electron microscope we need electron microscope to observe virus okay so compared to bacteria fungi protozoa virus are very very small okay second thing that virus are living as well as non living oh how my virus are you know uh, uh, microscope uh, sorry virus are we can say it's like a parasite if outside the body if ha it has virus has no any uh, any organism to live there to uh, growth for their bo virus body it is work like a, a non living thing but when virus find the one organism one body plant animal anything okay it will be work like a living thing the use they use other or uh, other organisms body okay and growth their self reproduct and all activities so virus is like a parasite common elements like a cold influenza means flu okay or uh, most cups are caused by a virus right now another examples Were polio and chicken pox, and uh, some diseases like a uh, malaria, dysentery, and malaria are caused by the dysentery. Means you know, uh, diarrhea are the main cause, main effect, side effect of this dysentery side. So dysentery and malaria are caused by a uh, protozoans, right? Protozoans. okay and uh, some examples for typhoid and tuberculosis means tb are uh, examples for a uh, bacteria disease okay so these are harmful effect okay these are the harmful effect for the on our body to us okay and uh types of the bacteria we can say on the base of the shape or virus okay this this is the type of the bacteria spiral bacteria right spiral bacteria so spiral bacteria uh it's shape like a spiral examples like cocci 
stray flococcus and uh, stray protococcus they are the example of a spiral shaped bacteria because of its shape its known its name is spiral bacteria and uh, means uh, only shape are like this similarly that road type shape road means uh, you know steel road you know straight so road type shape bacteria it's also uh, type of the bacteria based on the size algae there are the examples of the algae right uh, Clymodonomonas and Spirogyra are the examples of algae examples of algae so these are simple plant it's like a organism which are usually aquatic in a nature they contain a cell wall and chlorophyll and can make their own food by photosynthesis okay algae algae can be unicellular or multicellular some of the common examples are this one clymodomena spirogyra and diatoms something like that okay so they can produce their they can produce their on foods by photosynthesis okay they are mostly living in a colony but also you can find in a pond in a unicellular form okay and uh, this is protozoa protozoa right so protozoa examples amoeba paramecium you know, these are nothing but unicellular unicellular th uh, living thing microorganism okay so some of them live independently while most of the and other lives as a parasites other lives as a parasites like a virus and many of the parasites protosomes zones cause disease in plants domestic animals and human beings okay so these are the examples amoeba and paramecium okay <clears throat> so this is nothing but fungi right so we already discussed about the fungi that uh, we seen in a bread so its name is like bread mold okay there are tiny there are tiny spores and uh, you know it is almost we can say that uh, these are non green plants okay hence cannot make their own food right they, they are not doing process photosynthesis okay where some algae do the photosynthesis but fungi cannot okay so we can say these are non green plants and uh, cannot make their own foods so they either live as a parasites they need some organisms to for their nutrition and der so what happen they deriving nutrition from the host organisms okay and growth their self so for example pukinia which cause wheat leaf rust okay and uh, grow or grow than on the organic matter such as bread bread mold okay so they cannot they cannot produce their own food they need another host organism another body okay fine see in this figure you can see virus okay so this is virus this is head and this is a tail okay so virus are sometimes attack on a bacteria by the tail by the using tail okay so bacteria and virus there are difference a main difference that of this of their size right so virus are very very small and you know that uh, water of ganga water of ganga will be fine always clean 
we will not find any smell it's not it cannot spoil something like this but scientific reason is some bacteria sorry some virus are attacked on the bacteria which are in the ganga in a river okay that's why it's called bacterial phase the virus called bacterial phase and virus will attack on the bacteria and kill them so water keep clean smellless right but so so virus sometimes helpful but some most of the times harmful some virus are really harmful right so <coughs> actually uh, mainly problem is virus is a very microscopic organisms very microscopic very very small right and uh, compared to other microbes and they reproduce only inside the cell of the host organisms this is the only way they can we can protect from the virus so that's why in now yeah, right now situation we are try our uh, social distancing it means well, if virus will not find host organism it will be it will not grow okay so need a host organism host organism for the virus to growth for there so here is a examples of virus that uh, hiv hepatitis b ebola virus you know all heard that some types of the disease and uh, adenovirus and influenza okay bacterial phase that i already discussed that uh, in a river in a ganga river there are such virus it's a bacterial phase they only attack on the bacteria right and uh, uh, virus uh, are so small so uh, variety of the shapes and size also fine but uh, and uh, uh, a complete virus particle is known as a virion virion v i r i o n it's complete virus particle okay so virion consist of a nucleus nucleic and surrounded by the capsids and capsids is a protective coat made up of a protein right you heard in in this corona virus their upper layer is a uh, made from the protein right so the sub the sub uh, sorry the sub units of this protein call capsomers and virus can be seen only by an electron microscope <coughs> so they are very ultra ultrascopic size they have a very ultrascopic size okay so so bachcho some microorganisms are very friendly with us you know preparation of the curd bread and cake we are using microorganisms right production of alcohol wine and acetic acids we need microorganism and uh, preparation of the medicine and vaccine also we need microorganisms sometimes cleaning up the environment we need microorganisms okay bachcho increasing in soil fertility by fixing nitrogen we need microorganisms so microorganisms are sometimes very useful very helpful okay but sometimes are very harmful effects right very harmful effects so here uh friendly microorganisms such point they have to have to remember which one preparation of curd bread and cake they are helpful production of alcohol wine and acetic acid okay and the production of sorry a preparation of the medicine and vaccine also you know, helpful also helpful and uh, cleaning up of the environment and increasing soil fertility are also we are using microorganisms right bachcha 
सो बच्चो मेकिंग ऑफ कर्ड एंड ब्रेड ओके सो वी हर्ड दैट इन आवर होम ऑल्सो वी आर प्रिपेरिंग द कर्ड हाउ वी आर टेकिंग सम वॉम मिल्क एंड सैंपल ऑफ बैक्टेरिया मीन सैंपल ऑफ कर्ड दे आर लैक्टो बेसिलियस राइट दे आर बैक्टो बेसिलियस जिससे प्रमोट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द क्लर्ड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द क्लर्ड राइट शो this is a bacteria that we are using that we are using to uh, make a curd right and then what happen they use the milk warm milk and multiply bacteria itself and do reproduction of them and finally we can find curd right but so so lactobacillus bacteria are the responsible to make a curd okay <coughs> and also for making cheese pickles right some more food items are uh, we are using that microorganisms bacteria and uh, you know that soji that dosa idli okay they are also they are also because of microorganisms they are we can make such type of food item by using microorganisms and this is a process that how we are making a curd okay how we will curd and how we will make a maida then maida with yeast powder okay so after some formation now because of the yeast okay formations are there and what happen that it will be growth it will be raised see something like this it will be raised size will be increased then we can say that formation means the reproduction of yeast are completed okay it's actually what happen they produce carbon dioxide during the respiration bub and bubbles and gas will be dust will be there found there okay so we can understand yes volume is increased so gases are there and we can find spongy cake bread right pastry so spongy so it why it's happen when we add this when we add yeast powder in this maida what happen again i'm again i'm saying that carbon dioxide will be released and carbon dioxide you know gas and gas will go try to uh, pass from the uh, this maida and what happen it there is a small little bit little little spores and waste are will be found and this empty way empty spore empty holes and waste because of that it's become spongy volume will be increased because of this empty space and we feel better and so it will be tasty because of this yeast okay fine so this is a bakery item we need as i discussed that oh, we are also using microorganisms for commercial use like a uh, production of alcohol wine okay and acetic acids we can say vinegar that we are using in our food particularly in chinese food right so this is also a commercial use commercial production and uh, it is a also commercial production for alcohol and wine okay so uh what happened there actually uh it is grown on a natural sugars present in a grain like a barrel wheat rice and crushed fruit juice etc right okay so how alcohol okay how the products they take of how this is the activity 2.4 shows the how the alcohol is producing take a 500 ml beaker fill it with to three fourth with the water dissolve two three tablespoon of sugar okay add half a spoon of a yeast okay half a spoon of the yeast powder to the sugar solution keep it covered in a warm place for five to four to five hours now smell the solution 
it will be changed so this is the smell of alcohol as sugar has been converted into alcohol by yeast okay so sugar it means c6h12o6 this is a organic substance organic compound and alcohol it's also like a c2hyoh ch3oh methanol ethanol okay it's also organic compound so only converted only converted organic compound one structure to another structure means sugar to alcohol and by the help of the only yeast so this process of conversion of a sugar into alcohol is known as a fermentation is known as a fermentation right but is known as a fermentation so this is important may be defined you some uh, in exam they can ask what is fermentation so fermentation is nothing fermentation is nothing but the process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is a known as a fermentation okay fine and uh, uh, this is the scientist Louis Pasteur this discovered fermentation in 1857 in 1857 right but some use in a medical also okay they use for antibody antibodies or antibiotics okay so medical use is also uh, medical use is also for of microorganisms right so medical use okay so we heard sometimes antibiotics right so what is what are antibi antibiotics what are their uses so anti antibiotics are medicine that can kill or stop the growth of the disease cause microorganisms right so for example penicillin right penicillin so antibiotics are used to cure a variety of the disease okay and uh, such as a uh, streptomycin right streptomycin tetracycline tetracycline and and anthiomycin okay anthiomycin so there are the variety cure a variety of the disease so that are made up of a bacteria and fungi cure microbial infection in animals okay by in by um, by mixing antibiotics with the feed of the liver stock and poultry okay so we can cure microbial microbial bile infection microbial infection in a animals okay and control several plant disease okay by a uh, microorganisms okay so alexander fleming in 1928 discovered discover penicillin right discover penicillin and it's very very helpful very very helpful right and uh, some precautions should be followed some precautions should be followed uh, while taking antibiotics okay why see antibiotics should be taken only on the advice of the doctor okay and one most complete the course the doctor prescribes okay so we cannot use as per uh, without knowledge or if you are not doctor it's not recommended to take antibiotics then antibiotics taken in a wrong dose may make the body resistance to the drug and it may not be effective in the future understood antibiotics taken in a wrong dose may take may the body resistance and to the drug means if you will use wrong dose then what happen it will be not effective in a future and moreover antibiotics may also kill the beneficial bacteria in the body also okay so these are the 
not uh, this is the side effects okay and uh, we are not taking antibiotics for cold and flu caused by the bacteria because most of the antibiotics we are using for the bacteria disease and others right so antibiotics is for the bacteria and it will not use for cold and flu okay bachcho cold and flu now vaccine right so vaccine is what so first of all we we has to understand that pathogens what is pathogens pathogens means disease right causing microbes microorganisms okay so this is microorganisms called the pathogens and uh, second thing is antibodies what is what are antibodies antibodies are substances our body produced to fight disease causing microbes right so this will be this will be what happen when pathogens means disease microorganisms of the disease has to fight with the antibodies antibodies who will generate our body will be generate so antibodies are substance our body produces to fight disease causing microorganisms microbes right so what is vaccine that so vaccine vaccine is nothing vaccine is nothing but vaccines are weakened or dead disease causing microbes okay weakened very weak and dead okay so we can and dead disease causing microbes that are injected in our body to trigger the production of the antibodies the production of the antibodies okay so we will inject their weak and dead microbes of the disease right of the disease now what happen this and uh, the this antibodies remain in the body for a long time to protect it against any attack of the disease so once we inject once we inject we can or dead microorganisms of the disease our body will be react our body will be react and pre and product and products produce uh, antibodies and once antibodies will produce it will be held up to long time and protect against any attack of the disease causing microbes right bachcho so edward jenner discovered the vaccine for smallpox in 1798 in 1798 right bachcho so some are vaccines some are the disease which can be prevented by the vaccine cholera hepatitis smallpox right tuberculosis so these are the disease that we can prevented by the vaccines another point is increasing soil fertility right so you heard before that microorganisms microorganisms are useful useful for a soil fertility how how because they are nothing but they are biological nitrogen fixers okay biological nitrogen fixers so some bacteria some microorganisms like uh, this uh, blue green algae okay are fixing the nitrogen into the soil and we uh, last in last chapter we already discussed about that that microorganisms are fixing the nitrogen in the soil and provide nitrogen to the roots for its very useful it's for growth for the plants right so it's helpful for a growth of the plant also and cleaning the environment next point is cleaning the environment yes how how you can say that environment will be clean environment will be clean by the microorganisms so microorganism microbes are decompose decompose organic waste and dead remains of plants and animals right we we already discussed in last chapter that 
some microbes decompose the organic material, organic waste, means dead, uh, dead plants and animals, and convert them into the simpler substance, which can again be used by other plants and animals. So by this process of biogradation, by this process of biogradation, it's very useful. So we are fine complex substance to the simpler substance and it will be used by the plants and animals. So thus they help us in a getting rid of harmful and smelly substance and clean up the environment. Clean up the environment. Right, Bacho? So this is also uh, helpful for uh, cleaning the environment. Now harmful microorganisms, right? So we know that some diseases are really communicable. Communicable means it will be spread by air, water, food, physical contact, right? So communicable diseases are the harmful effect on plants as well as animals, right? And communicable disease like this are uh, nothing but microbial disease. Okay, microbial disease means by a microbes, by a microorganism disease. So that's why they are saying these are microbial disease that spread from one infected person to a healthy person through air, through water, food, huh? or physical contact such as cholera, right? Chicken pox common cold okay and tuberculosis also but some are carriers some are carriers to spread the spread the disease like so insects and animals that can carry disease cause microbes and transport them from one place to other called a uh, carriers or vectors such as house flies and mosquitoes right so carriers are also responsible to transfer this disease or uh, microbes one place to another place right so see you know that that female anopheles mosquito this are uh, this malaria is not uh, by a mosquito but it mosquito is only a carrier of this disease right so what happened female female anopheles mosquito carries the parasites of the malaria and it's called plasmodium it's called plasmodium and uh, you also heard about the dengue right so dengue is also spreading by this uh, female Aedes female Aedes mosquito okay and they are carrying dengue virus called flavivirus okay flavivirus so it's uh, also spreading by the mosquito dengue same like a uh, malaria yes but so these are the human disease okay and uh, how they are transmit to other okay and which uh, what are uh, which bacteria or virus who is responsible who has the responsible which microorganism is responsible for this disease so this is this is the list that tuberculosis okay missiles chicken pox polio right these are these are spreading by the air okay and chicken pox and polio also with by contact as, and water respectively so for that responsible for tuberculosis bacteria and other threes are for virus right virus so how and how we will protect from such type of the disease we have to we have to keep the patient completely in isolation so we are here in a right now in this corona disease we heard that that's a person or family keep in quarantine right so this is nothing but this is isolation if one if we isolate the patient on a 
in a, in a different area so it cannot be spread to others right so this is the uh, this is and uh, responsible microorganisms okay and cholera and typhoid these are responsible for uh, uh, for uh, they are responsible of bacteria and transmission way it's the water okay and cholera water and food also both but in typhoid transmit by the water okay so we have to use good quality water okay boil drink water okay and keep our shelf very hygiene okay so can protect from the such type of the disease hepatitis b it will be spread by the virus and carrier what water and drinking boil water which it's a uh, or vaccination yes vaccinations is also for cholera and typhoid and vaccinations for hepatitis b also required to protect from the hepatitis b malaria obviously malaria is uh, because of protozoa and protozoa transmitted by the mosquito right so we can use mosquito net okay and repellents and we can also spray the insecticide sites and control breeding of the mosquito is very important we have to control breeding so we will not allow to collect the water anywhere so cannot reproduct reproduce my, uh, the mosquito and if mosquito will not produce then carrier will not appear here and we can protect from our shell from the malaria right okay